Welcome to Team Wild's Farminators. This week, we're at a farm in North Staffordshire that's been complaining of nuisance rabbits for some time now. And who better to clear a few bunnies than Nathan Whitehead and Pete Malkin? They're experienced hunters and jump at the chance. The moon is out and hopefully there'll be a few rabbits about. Right, we're out tonight. We've been... Uh, had a phone call to say that there's a few rabbits getting about on some stubbles and stuff and we want to clear them out before they start drilling again. Um, we're out with the 2-2 rimfire, ideal gun for the job. Um, it's an Anshunt 1416 uh, with a 3-12 by 50 scope on it. Moderated. Um, it's like I say, ideal, ideal gun for the job. Um, Going to try and do his best for the night. Hopefully we try and crack a few off. Nathan jumps on the back of the truck and they head out. But after almost 45 minutes, they've seen absolutely nothing. We've, uh, we've been driving round now for uh, three quarters of an hour and uh, we've seen one rabbit shot it. Not on camera. <laughs> um, one of them nights by the seams of it. No wind. No nothing, but yeah, we're going to carry on round and try his best to find something to film. Uh, there's nothing else we can do. It's one of them things with shooting. It either happens or it doesn't. And it isn't. <laughs> Suddenly, out of nowhere, a rabbit darts out of the hedge and straight into the lamp. Nathan steadies his 2 2 rimfire, slowly pulling on the trigger, and it bolts. It's off. There's nothing like a moving target in the pitch black. Talk about a needle in a haystack. The rabbit stops and without a moment's hesitation, Nathan pulls on that trigger and the pinpoint accuracy of the 2-2 rimfire hits its mark, dropping the rabbit instantly. That's a sigh of relief and one for the pot. Nice headshot. Didn't feel a thing. I think just a... Uh, maybe 30 or 40 yards. Another perfect... Probably three quarters grown. Beautiful. Almost immediately, there's another. Nathan taps on the roof to signal Pete to stop the truck. Pete sets the target with the lamp. Nathan gets his rabbit in the crosshairs and takes down another clean rabbit. That rabbit didn't feel a thing. Another one on the neck. All good for the pot. It's straight back on the truck and without a moment's hesitation, there's another. But this shot is a little bit special. As you can hear from the delay of the impact after the shot, that rabbit was a fair old distance off. If you can put the bullet in the right spot with the rimfire, there's, there's enough killing power there, up to 120, 130 yards. Moving on, the lads head off into the next field and the search continues. Another rabbit shows itself. The rabbit bolts, but Nathan's hot on its heels. This is where experience and patience pays off. Another perfect kill. He reloads and without even moving the truck, target number five shows up. It drops fast. 100% record. Impressed, they move on. With five in the bag, they must be doing something right. Pete scours the fields and they come to a gate. Hopefully we'll see a few more in this field. Just then, as they leave the truck, Nathan spots one. There was one just there through the gate. But the noise from the truck scares it away seconds before Nathan gets a shot. That one definitely got away. No, it's back. Nathan's straight on it and catches another rabbit off guard with a perfect headshot. He sends his gun dog P off to collect it. 
that's kill number six, and it's been well worth the visit so far. Gonna have a little reload before we carry on any further. The amount of times that you pick up on the rabbit, press the button and nothing happens. The amount of rabbits we're seeing tonight, we don't want to miss fire. A little further up the field, Nathan spots another. He's just about to get away when he hits it with a superb shot. You've got to be quick with these rabbits, because once they get going, they usually don't stop. They've got enough rabbits to feed the streets at this rate. It's going to be one happy farmer. The rabbits are soon stacking up, but they're not done yet. Pete stops the truck. He spotted one charging across the field, but Pete thinks it's too far away. Nathan is not one to be beat. He fires around from the 2 2 rim fire with deadly accuracy, dropping that rabbit instantly. That's got to be about 100 yards with the, with the rim fire. And it uh, dropped it on the spot. That certainly made up for the one that got away. It's getting late and the lads now decide to call it a night. Yep. But on the way back, as always, dedicated to the job at hand, Nathan drops another. Including a couple that were shot off camera, that's 11 kills. That's not to be grumbled at. The rabbits certainly made them work for it tonight, but the 2-2 rimfire and a bit of skill bagged plenty of rewards. We've had a good night tonight. Um, not as many as expected, but uh, shows we're doing a good job on the land. 100% um, kill rate, shot 11. Job well done, again. Everybody's happy except the rabbits. Some nice ones for the pot. Just need to uh, bally them now, otherwise by tomorrow morning they'll be stinking. So. We'll drop the belly out of them now and get them ready for eating. Now Pete's a bit of a pro at bellying rabbit, which is important. You've got to get the bellies out of them as soon as possible to prevent spoilage to the meat. Started off poor. Uh, We've ended up with a few. Uh, it's um, in the end. It only goes to show that we're doing a decent job on the on the ground and keeping the rabbits to a manageable level. If you can't find a lot, then obviously you're doing all right with them. Everything we've seen, we've killed, so. Nice change here tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> no answer to that one, is there? Subscribe to Team TV for all the best hunting shows on YouTube.